So I've been in Greece this week um, with my parents on a holiday. I was still working a little bit, but I've been offline for most of the time and just reflecting and thinking and deepening myself into my spiritual practice that I'd been kind of losing a little bit because of work stress and everything I had to do the last weeks. And because of the reflections I was able to make, because of the time I was able to take for myself, I've been reflecting more and I kind of got this little insight. I kind of figured something out that helped me so, so, so much more into healing myself and figuring out how to live in this world as hectic and crazy as it sometimes may seem. So I thought I'd take the time today to kind of share this perspective, share this insight, this tool. And the essence of it is basically how we can literally just be happy without needing to force anything, without needing to solve anything. All we need to do sometimes is change our perspective. And what was supposed to seem like or what used to seem like a very dark, uninterested, cold world suddenly turns into some kind of world we can enjoy every day um, with the smallness of it and the bigness of it. I guess what I'm trying to say is that just by sometimes changing a very small perspective that I want to talk about today, our entire world, world can change. And it took me the necessary step to kind of isolate myself from social media, from work for this last week to reconnect to that vision, to reconnect with that perception. And I've been feeling so peaceful. I've been feeling so whole, so just pleasant with life as it is, as it comes, that I want to share this today in this video. Um, I hope you kind of get a little peace from this just by knowing that life exactly as it is and the world exactly as it is is enjoyable every moment of the day every second of the day and all we need to do is tune in with that focus on that get ourselves out of our minds and focus back onto what's really important which is being happy and finding true peace and meaning by turning within instead of looking for answers outside of us all the time. I want to share something with you today that has been extremely valuable for me. Um, not only the last couple of weeks, but in my entire life in general. It's a principle I've learned that has gotten me through so, so, so much. And it's going to be very short because it's so simple and that's why it's so effective because the most simple things in life are often what help us the most. And I want to talk about gratitude because I have talked about this before but I want to really apply it to our view upon mental health and struggles that we keep sometimes uh, internally. The thing is that everything we feel like we lack, we also, in a way, already have. And there was this quote on um, a podcast, I forgot the name, but I will put a link in the description. And the podcast talked about this quote. And the quote was, when we focus on what we lack, we lose what we have. But when we focus on what we have, we gain what we lack and for me if we apply this to things we lack internally for example peace or love or trust or happiness it's because we focus on the wrong things and just by switching our focus from everything we lack such as when we feel bad, we focus on the good feelings that we lack, we focus on how we don't want to feel this bad. We are continuing to recreate that feeling for ourselves because our brain repeats what it's been taught, what it's been getting from input. So I want to kind of apply this to something specific. For me, the feeling of being worthy or being... Uh, 
great or good enough was lacking these last weeks. And so just by really, really focusing on everything I am, everything I do have, everything that I am good enough at, everything I've accomplished, you just completely switch your entire perspective of yourself. Uh, and if I can do that with such a small thing, such as just kind of being off for a few moments or a few days, imagine what it can do for someone who is struggling if you're struggling with anxiety, sometimes all you need to do is change your perspective from all the things that you feel unsafe with, all the things that are making you feel um, like you can't let go of control, like you need to really hold on to that control, like you can't just relax and enjoy, and shift your perspective towards everything in your life that is giving you the sign that it's okay to feel peaceful that it's okay to let go and that you are safe and that you are trusted, um, such as people around you and the network you have, the trees, the air, the fact that we have oxygen in our lungs every day, the fact that the sun is shining and giving us vitamin D, the fact that food just magically grows out of the ground and just appears so that we can eat it and stay alive and healthy. All of those things are proof that the universe, the world, is taking care of us. We are safe. We have plenty of everything we need. We have food, we have water, we have air to breathe, we have people around us to connect with and feel love. So we have everything we need and we are taken care of and we are safe. But it's because we choose to focus on those little small things, those thoughts in our mind that we feel like we're not safe because we focus on that. So I want you to put this into practice by choosing um, a topic in your life where you feel like you lack, such as emotions, positive emotions, money, whatever it is that you feel like you lack, I want you to take a theme and I want you to write down everything that you already have in this theme. If you're struggling with heavy anxiety or depression, I want you to write down every positive moment in your life where you felt joy. I want you to write down every moment where you felt peaceful, even though it was just a tiny, tiny second of your day. Focus on that and be grateful that it was present because the more we focus on what we are grateful for and what we already have, the more we actually recreate that. So I want you to put this into practice by really focusing on these themes that you think that you lack and instead of focusing on the lack, focusing on everything that you already have and have ever already had around this topic. And challenge yourself to do this consistently and watch your life change. For the people that already know me and follow me, I wanted to say that my uh, anxiety and DPDR, existential anxiety recovery course, is on sale for two more days. So uh, that's like a quick Reminder that if you would still like to join the course, get the course at today's the day to do it and tomorrow as well. And I want to end this video by saying that I really, really, really appreciate you and love you and want to thank you for watching my videos every week. Um, I'll be sure to make it my mission to keep making these videos and to keep helping you on your journey towards inner peace. So, sending you lots of love and namaste.